Hello YouTube, today we're going to learn how to make our computer run faster. The reason I'm doing this is because I work with a lot of people, well a few people, who own computer shops. You bring their computer, your computer to them, you pay a lot of money, and all they really do is a few very simple things that anyone, a 12 year old, could do to make your computer run faster. So today we're just going to do them by ourselves. So first thing we're going to do is defragment your drive. You simply go to start menu, type in D-E-F-R a G. Go to your disk defragmenter. And we're going to simply analyze the disk. <clears throat> While this is running in the background, we're going to proceed to step two, which is C cleaner. A lot of IT guys use it. Go to your Google or whatnot. Type in C cleaner, which stands for crap cleaner. Pure form. Download. There's paid. We're going to do the free version right there. And we're going to download the latest version. Okay, it's done downloading. We're going to run it now. Run. Okay, next. I agree. Everything except for automatic or check for autom up updates automatically. Install. Here we go. Now we're going to run it. Yes. So, this was defragmenting in the background. It says it's 0% defragmented. Uh, most likely, yours. if you haven't done this, it will say something there. So just simply put defragment disk, and it will start defragmenting. Don't stop till it's done defragmenting. Now, the first step in CCleaner we're going to use is cleanup. We're going to analyze the disk and run the cleaner. Close your browsers before you do this. OK. Next thing we're going to do is registry. We're going to scan for issues, see if there's any issues with the registry. Look like we got one. If you haven't done this, it'll have a bunch of them. Fix selected issues, no. Fix issues, close. Simple as that. Now on startup, a lot of things automatically start up on your computer, especially if you don't really pay attention to what you're installing and all the details behind it. So. For instance, if it's in gray, that means it doesn't automatically start up on your computer. If it's in black, that means it automatically starts up. For instance, I have Google Update start up automatically. So, whenever my computer starts, these two things, which I don't care if they start up on startup, have to start up with all the other stuff that's starting up when you first start up your computer. So, we don't want them to. So, we're simply going to disable them. It doesn't mean it's deleting the program. All that it simply means is that it's not starting up upon startup. If you want to start up, you just simply manually click it and it opens up. That's it. Google update, you can run a uh, Google update automatically. You don't need uh, it to start up every time you start up your computer. That's it. Uh, if you want to have some programs you can uninstall, simply go to uninstall as well. You know, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of toolbars and whatnot that uh, start up automatically. Uh, I hate toolbars that go to your browser. So, you know, uninstall anything you don't think you need, uninstall it. Basically, that's it. So, uh, so we're going to close this now. Now we're going to our indexing. You go to computer, start menu, computer, right click properties, go to advanced system settings in the computer name, hardware, advanced simply click on settings and you go to advanced and you want to change your paging uh, index file the uh, yeah so you simply click change now we're at here most likely yours will look like this so you simply click this one right here and you change the custom size I recommend definitely over for probably between 8,000 to 10,000. So let's change it to 8,000. This does go on your hard disk. So if you have 4,000 megabytes available on your hard disk, it won't be able to do it. So let's change it to 8,000. Set. And click OK. 
Okay, it won't take place till you restart your computer. That's fine. Click apply. And okay, there you have it. So we changed that. So we did a defrag. Okay, I think we analyzed it. We need to defragment it now. So it says it's 0% defragmented. Uh, if it wouldn't have, you just click. If it's zero, you're fine. If it was above that, just click start like I just did. So we defragmented. We ran CCleaner. We changed the index, indexing. Last and not least is your virus. Uh, if you did all this and your computer's still running messed up, either it's most likely a hardware issue, which means you need more RAM or you're having issues, or if you have a virus. And even a mild virus, people sometimes think they don't have viruses because their computer's not blowing up in front of them. A virus can be very mellow and mild. So you need a virus protector if you don't have one. For free, I recommend Microsoft Security Essentials. Google it. Uh, for paid, I recommend ESET. I'm telling you, if you don't know that much about computers and you're browsing the interwebs, I would pay for a virus protector because it's got your back. ESET is a very good one. Simply Google either one of these, install, it walks you through it. Thanks for watching. Leave lots of comments. If you want to know the details about how this stuff works, ask me and I'll make a video or post it in the comments. And if uh, and if you want to know if you want to know and anything else, just post it in the comments and I will show you. Take care.